The cancellations were the defining themes for air travel last year. 2022 saw the highest percentage of flights that didn't take off on time or at all in almost a decade. This year didn't start out much better after a rough holiday season for travelers. Jake or Alexis is at the Seattle Tacoma Airport tonight. Jake, so after a chaotic 2022, what can people expect this year when they fly? Hannah and Brian, the number of people flying returned to pre-pandemic levels in the U.S. last year, and airlines had a tough time keeping up. Travel experts are saying that time of year and airline scheduling will play a big role in managing delays and cancellations in 2023. Here's a look at the top 10 U.S. airports in terms of number of flight delays in 2022, according to travel app FlightAware. Some of the airports that really struggled to get planes in the air on time were in Las Vegas, Chicago, Dallas, Orlando, and Fort Lauderdale. Some airlines cut back on their flight schedules towards the end of last year to account for staffing shortages that caused delays and cancellations. Travel website The Points Guy says airlines could do the same thing again this year to make it easier for them to manage their flight schedules. Travelers can also expect more delays and cancellations during busy periods. Booking uh, demand curves for popular places going uh, this summer, spring break, even the holidays are really quite strong. And so what the airlines are going to do is they're going to have to evaluate how much of the operation do they want to protect by possibly reducing the number of flights that they sell. And out of 50 U.S. airports tracked by FlightAware, SeaTac had the 13th lowest flight cancellation rate in 2022. From SeaTac, Jake Carolexis, Fox 13 News.